Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. Basically, I'm off the bike right now because of the pump track crash in the last vlog. If you haven't seen it, the bay link in the bio or it'll be on the screen somewhere. Oh my god. god. You alright? Uh, so I've been off the bike for like just over a week, but we still want to get some content here. So I posted a photo on Instagram yesterday saying I was going to do a QA and a at the start. So first question. Oh we've got actually some interesting ones to be fair. Gotta be a good opener, a good opener, a good opener. So I'm trying to look for a good question. How tall are you? I'm gonna answer that one first because I get it so much. I don't actually know, but I think I'm like five foot three or four or something. Does that sound about right to you? Eh, uh, it's smaller like. <laughs> All right, I see how it is. Second question, question number two. What motivated you to start YouTubing? Oh uh, yeah, question. Main thing that motivated me to start filming yeah. is, I don't know, it's hard to explain, like loads of filmers would put stuff out, like, like look, you know what I mean, it looks good. It's like something to be like proud of. And it's like, if we're out filming and I get a banger done, I know then I've got a good video of it. You know what I mean? Rather than just quickly grabbing my iPhone, I know Ollie's gonna have some mint angle. It's gonna get like put in light room. It's gonna look banger, so. Oh, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> just getting good content out. I, I, I love making content. Like it's probably one of my favorite things to do. That's why I like like try and smash it out on like all socials and stuff like that. On to question number three, I'll get the phone back. Jack Foley has asked, how old were you when you started BMX? And what inspired you to? Where I live, massively played a part in it basically. So I live in a house, obviously. <laughs> but where I live in a the house, there's like, my house is there, football field, and then a skate park. So the skate park was always like the limits of how far it could go. So obviously as a kid I spent my time always at the skate park and like watching all the old, I didn't have a BMX, I had like some WWE bike from Argos or something that I thought I thought was unreal. So I had this little WWE bike and then I was watching all the older lads just doing like like 360s and things like that, just riding. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. Then I got my first BMX. But I'm not going to say what that was in case that's another question. So on to the next question. I thought someone would have asked, what was your first BMX? First BMX was, a eruption bike that came with like a 50 plates pocket and then uh, I remember taking it, it was a red eruption, I remember taking it to like a cycle centre in Newcastle to get a new sprocket because everyone, everyone was like giving us grief for having this massive dinner plate and then I got like a 25 and I, I think the Garen was like 25, 12 or something, it was like, like you pedalled about 300 times to get over the spine. Next question, <laughs> oh, th this in my head seemed way more interesting so I hope, so I hope this is remotely entertaining. What's the scariest, hardest trick you've ever done? Some of the scariest stuff I've done is just gaps because you can't work up to a gap. Another scary thing, which was probably one of the hardest as well, is the, the truck whip double bar that I've done. This trick right here. Yes. Give us the mental block of a lifetime. Like Ollie standing there filming for like two hours on end, three hours, and just back and forwards over and over and over and over again. And like, I don't know, I don't know if it was that, it was scary, it was definitely hard. But I'm not sure if it was like scary or, or just like the mental block, but I suppose mental block is caused by fear. So I'm, I'm gonna go with that, truck with double bar. So what, have you had a blast around the new pump track at Chopwell? Yes, Chopwell pump track absolutely wrote me off. Just uh, turned up, it went home. That's gonna have to be bleeped. <laughs> How old were you when you did your first tail whip? I wanna say 10. There is a video, I'll put the video in now, which will probably, the title will probably be my age. So he has the video of, I'm pretty sure, one of my first ever tail whips. Yeah! And I wanna say I was 10 year old, maybe 11, 10? 10, I'm gonna say 10. I'm sticking with 10, it's my final answer. How big is your neck in inches? You know what, I've got one of them measuring things, you know, like for clothes, like the little cloth measurers. I should have brought it. I don't know why, I think you can see how long it is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Look, <laughs> we're, we're giving the people what they really want. So that's how long we... Yeah, I use the thing on you know, your phone, like, measure <laughs> See what I mean? They do what the people want, you're welcome, Tom, mate. Just putting in all this effort so you can see how big my neck is. 11 inches, that's my guess. Get asked this one a lot as well. What mouth guard do you use? I get my mouth guard made at like the dentist. So I get impressions as if you're gonna get retainer. That's why it fits really well. Cause I can't deal with it like moving around and things like that. 
I got asked on a lot, so I thought I'd reply. <laughs> I just thought it right. <laughs> I've got a mic on, so you've definitely heard it. Next question. If you could do any other action sport, what would it be? Good question, Ellie Scott. I'd love to be able to skate, like, I'd love to be able to skate, as would anyone, but it's just so hard. I wouldn't mind doing, like, like FMX or something. I reckon, I reckon like, FMX would be sick, yeah, like motocross. Kind of similar, isn't it? But just even more dangerous. Motocross. She didn't mind skating, skating up against motocross. I'm gonna go motocross all day. It's just an expensive sport even being though. You've got to get a motorbike for a start. Then you've got to have something to get your motorbike to the track. Then there's not really anything like that round here. So you've got to drive to there. Map here. When are me and Rachel coming round so that's South can cook us dinner? Whenever you want. You just pop up whenever, anytime. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> How long have you been riding and when did you? I kind of answered that one up. Well, I didn't really actually. So I've been riding since I was about eight. So 10 years, 10, wait, I'm 18, coming up 19. So 10 and a half years, 11 years. Actually, this one's quite good. Mickey Wynn, what was it like growing up in the Northeast where our facilities aren't the greatest and trying to get your name out there? Different, definitely different. Didn't have Colby or South Sea or anything like that. Well, still got skate parks, got override, override skate park, dynamic skate park, still parks to ride. And obviously, I feel like, I feel like when you're only when you're young and you're learning like to whip at the bar, you don't need like an insane facility. I feel like it's only once you get to a point where like the tricks you need resi. To be fair, I learned flares without resi. I was on, on a vert wall, landed on on the floor. Got to put I put a video in. One of first of our flares. I like I say, I feel like you don't need them insane facilities until you're doing these insane tricks. So, kind of made a difference. I mean, the, only, the reason it made a difference because you're like it's like out the loop almost. There's not that many BMX riders up here in comparison to further south. Still good though, different. You know what I mean? I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And it means when I go Corby and Ramp Works or Ramp One, it means I'm way more like grateful. How much like have a much better time. Got in, you know what I mean? I got my name out there like everyone else, just social media. Going to competitions, my dad, massive shout out to my dad, if you didn't already know, taxied us around every competition in the UK from when I was like nine until I was like 15, 16. Literally everywhere. It's like going up unit one weekend, then going down ramp works the next weekend, up to transgression for the snowballing jams, all these things. I'll put a couple of clips in of those jams now, give you a little bit of context. Absolutely insane. Oh, so, alright, here he is, the man himself. What's your name, buddy? Kieran Riley. How old are you? Twelve. How long have you been doing three double whips or trying those? Two weeks. Eh? Two weeks? You just learned those? Yeah. First one to wood. When did you learn double whips? Start of the year. You are a nut, man. What did it feel like riding away from that? Like just unbelievable. I had, like every try before I fell off and I was just for just gonna fall off again and it's mental. It's gonna be the last question of the day because it's starting to rain and there's only so long I can keep me interacted, sat it is. So it's gonna be the last question of the day. I'm not gonna look. What is the best park slash spot you have ever ridden on a BMX and where would you like to ride if you could? Ooh, so many different reasons for different spots. There, there's this place has got like an insane atmosphere, and it's like like a training facility almost. That was like a really good time. Woodward was insane because it's Woodward, and it's just like cliche, isn't it? Everyone wants to go ride Woodward, so like that's why that. And then there was like Barcelona now was full of spots. Skills Park was really fun for the airbag. Best place I've ever rode. Gonna have to say, I'm gonna go off like best times I've had and stuff, and I'm gonna say, Corby. I'm gonna say Adrenaline Alley in Corby. It's tight, it's so tight between those and other places, but I feel like I've just had the, like, the, the best times at Corby than anywhere else. Because like, every time I've went to Corby, I felt like I've, I've progressed. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm gonna say Corby was insane. I was gonna say next question, but that's it. That was, that was the final question of the day. Thank you everyone for dropping a comment and leaving a question. But if I don't get around to your question, like I say in this video, drop a comment below. Let me know if you want another Q&A and I'll do the same thing, I'll post a photo, you can comment. Let us know what you think of the talking videos, we'd rather you say if you weren't that big a fan, so we don't keep posting them. 
But I let me know what you want to see. I can't ride at the minute. Any ideas? None. Right, like none based on riding fully. Let us know. Chance to come back to the channel. See you in a bit. Peace. Thank <music> you.